also became concerned that mo when monarchs uh, pass through these areas of tropical milkweed, that they may be stopping at these sites and breaking their reproductive diapause. In other words, mating. Effectively abandoning their migration to uh, reproduce and to lay eggs. And to answer this question, we conducted an experiment. So this past fall, 2015, with the help of citizen scientists, we collected migratory monarchs from various sites uh, in the US, including Ohio, New Jersey, Texas, and Oklahoma. And we placed them in, them in these large outdoor cages with potted tropical milkweed. For comparison, monarchs were also placed in other cages with greenhouse grown native milkweed and in cages with no milkweed. I need to mention that because the native milkweed plants were grown in a greenhouse, we tricked them to grow as if it was middle of the summer. So these plants were lush green with new leaves and not like the plants you would find in the wild that time of year, which would be aged and then starting to enter uh, dormancy and potentially starting to turn yellow. And so this experiment tested if migratory monarchs were more likely to break diapause in the presence of tropical milkweed as compared to the native milkweed and no milkweed at all. And so each day uh, during 10 day period, we inspected uh, the cages and counted the number of adults that mated. And each adult was individually marked, so we were able to track them. And so this told us if they were breaking diapause. So I'm gonna tell you the results of this study. In short, we found that some proportion of monarchs broke diapause in all cages, which was somewhat surprising. Um, but the proportions were similar in all cages. And so we found no strong evidence that tropical milkweed caused migratory monarchs to break diapause or that it would cause more monarchs to break diapause than native milkweed that has fresh new leaves. And so interestingly, if native milkweed were in this really good condition as tropical milkweed, then monarchs might be using them for reproduction. I want to mention that this is not the first time that someone performed an experiment like this. In 2007, Reba Batalden um, did a similar experiment, a somewhat different design, a more milkweed species. But uh, she also found um, that some monarchs broke, trop uh, broke diapause in cages with tropical milkweed, and some monarchs broke diapause in a cage with native milkweeds. Um, and so uh, she didn't find very strong evidence either but she uh, had a slightly different result where she had no matings or breaking diapause in her control cage where there was no milkweed available. So long story short, uh, not a lot of strong evidence uh, for tropical milkweed causing uh, monarchs to break diapause in 